Can you imagine never again having to adjust an interproximal contact on a crown or a veneer? I'm going to show you how to make that happen. These are the dies with the crowns on the dies and this is a solid model. Now note this model is not the teeth have not been cut into dies. What we have done is cut back the gingival one-fourth of the tooth, both the margins of the stone tooth and the gingiva, so that the crown does not hit the margin of the tooth or the stone replication of the gingival tissue. See how we've cut this up back with a round burr all the way around the teeth. So the only part of the stone tooth remaining is the coronal, say, two-thirds. The crowns will be hanging on those teeth so that the margins are just hanging out in space. They're not touching any of the stone tooth surface. Yeah, we've cut it back. Get rid of all that stone replication of the gingival tissue. Now I'm placing the crowns on this solid model. And if never use those provisional restorations that come in a box and you put them on the individual crowns, on the individual teeth. If you do, the teeth will move. You must fabricate custom provisional crowns or veneers that are connected. But if you do that, take an excellent impression and use this solid model, these interproximal contacts will be perfect with capital letters. I can't remember the last time I had to adjust an interproximal contact on a crown or a veneer. They're perfect. Because when you cut, if you try to fit the crowns to dies that are separated, the margins will be good, but the die can swim just a little bit and the interproximal contacts won't be perfect. This way they'll be perfect. If your impressions are ideal, use the impression technique I've taught you and the provisionals are custom made and they're connected. So here are the teeth preps. I'm trying the crowns on. This is straight off the, the model into the mouth. I haven't tried them in yet and haven't adjusted anything. Those same three crowns, now we're going to check them with unwaxed dental floss. Pop, pop, and there you have it. Perfect interproximal contacts every time, and that's the Dental Minute.